this video, you're going to take a look at a way to use the law of sines and the law of cosines in some word problems. So before you start watching and taking notes, I want you to pause the video now and make sure that you have out your calculator because you're going to follow along with me to make sure that you get the same answer that I do. Lisa is 800 meters from the base of a mountain. From where she stands, she measures the angle of elevation to the peak of the mountain to be 38 degrees. She then walks to the base of the mountain and measures the new angle of elevation, this time getting 49 degrees. We want to find out how far Lisa is from the peak of the mountain when she is standing at its base. So what we're looking for is this length right here. Just put a little question mark there. That's what we're going to be trying to find in this problem. Now, let's start with things that I can figure out by using my diagram. When I look down here, that's what we call a straight angle. Now, a straight angle is 180 degrees. So this angle right in here is going to be 180 minus 49. So that's going to be 131. If I want this angle, well, you should be seeing that I've got a triangle right here. And we know that triangles make 180 degrees as well. So this angle is going to be 180 minus 131 minus 38. And we're going to get the remaining angle in there, which is 11 degrees. So I've got this triangle where this is 131, this is 38 degrees, this is 11 degrees, the distance from here to here is 800, and I would like to know this side. So given the fact that I have all of the angles and one of the sides, that should tell me that I'm going to use the law of sines. So let's set it up. We have 800, so we're going to use the angle of 11. So we're going to say that sine of 11 degrees over 800 equals, we want x, so we're going to use the angle across from it being 38. Okay, now how will you solve something like that? You're going to cross multiply. So we're going to say that 800 times the sine of 38 equals x times the sine of 11. And then to get x by itself, you're going to divide both sides by the sine of 11. Okay? You want to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode when you end up typing all of this in. And when you're finished, you should get that x equals... 2,581.27. Now the question told you to round the answer to the nearest meter, so we're going to say that that is 2,581 meters. Okay? If you have trouble getting that answer in your calculator, just ask your teacher and we will help you. Let's try where we have to use the law of cosines. So here we have somebody who's trying to measure the width of Orion's belt. Okay, Orion's Belt is a constellation in the sky. <clears throat> and then we've got some information about some distances here. So we have our person, and she is standing here. And she's going to measure the distance from herself to one edge of the belt. And that's 736 light years. She then measures the distance from herself to the other end of the belt, and that's 915 light years. The angle in between is 3 degrees, and she would like to know the width of the belt. So here is our question mark. We're just going to call that A to give it a letter. So you can see that I've got a triangle. 3 degrees down here, 736 is one side, 915 is the other side, and I'm looking for the third side. Given the fact that you have two sides and the angle in between tells you that you need the law of cosines. Okay, now you should know how to set this up based on your previous practice. So I'm just going to set the equation up for you and we're going to kind of go through it quickly. So we're going to get a squared equals 736 squared plus 915 squared minus 2 times 736 times 915 
times the cosine of 3 degrees. Okay? You know that 736 squared and 915 squared, those are like terms. So if I add those together, I get 1,378,920. I'm going to simplify 2 times 736 times 915. Okay, and then in your calculator what you're going to do is you're going to figure out the cosine of 3 degrees first, get some sort of decimal. You're going to multiply that by the coefficient. Then you're going to take this number in front and subtract the answer that you got. You want to try to use the second answer button in your calculator. If you don't know where that is, just ask your teacher and we will show you. So then you end up getting a squared equals 33,886.85. And in order to solve for a, you're just going to square root your number there. And there you have it. It asks us to round to the nearest light year, so our answer is going to be in 184 light years. Again, everybody, please make sure that you followed along in your calculator and you got the correct answers. If you're still unsure about it, please make sure to ask your teacher. Okay, good luck.